Four wins in a row, two defeats from 12, one point behind Everton with a game in hand. <laughs> What's going on? I, I have no idea, but last four or five games, it's been absolutely brilliant to watch. And you can just you know the effort, the desire, the determination just not to lose a, a game of football. When have we ever seen that? Like, really seen that? Like, even under Hard during 11 12, when we had a really good season, I think the players are showing more effort than that because we're doing we're just doing so well like that everybody's just so over the moon with how we're playing it's just brilliant to watch are we overachieving yeah well there's rafa benitez overachieving where we are <laughs> definitely definitely this is a championship side people keep telling us and it is with a couple of additions but the additions have made the difference kennedy was brilliant again today bought in january uh Slimani, with the assist with the header made the difference um look but the best player of the month at the minute is modi Arme. He was by far the man of the match today. He was the reason why Arsenal just couldn't really like go from like the second third of the pitch to the final third of the pitch. Like Xhaka just didn't know what to do. Xhaka, El Nani, no, they're not. I don't think they're Arsenal players. I don't think they're like that level. But yeah. What do you what do you make of them? Do you know what it is? I've, it seems like the fans' expectations and the board expectations are polar opposites. So the fans' expectations and. To be fair, they've been really spoiled by how good Wenger's been. For like, you know, they probably if you spoke to 99% of Arsenal fans, we're saying, look, we need to be at least challenging for the league. Where the board would be thinking, well, if we get top four or if we finish in Europe, that's a pretty good season. It's just about the money, and I think until Cronky goes for Arsenal um, and someone that has a bit of ambition, similar to Newcastle, you know, not obviously Arsenal Newcastle, yeah. you, know, I know what you, mean. you know what I mean, but until someone comes in and takes over that club and goes, you know what, first is only good enough, second's not good enough. I'm not really, like Wenger, in or out, it doesn't really matter for me, like I'm not bothered by it, but you know, I think maybe for the, for the club they might just need a change, just to kind of go, well look, let's start afresh. Because there's a couple of managers available, and I think someone like a Simeone would be a good, a good shout for them. Defensive has sort them, sort them out, but I'll tell you who else, who's never been mentioned, is the guy that we've got. No, we don't want Rafa to go. I know we don't want Rafa to go, but... He's made a championship team in the top half. I'm not comfortable top half, but we're in the top half. You're telling me he couldn't sort that defence out and get from sixth to fourth at least. Yeah, I see where you're coming from, but he's not going anywhere. He's no, not. he's not, definitely not. Um, <laughs> let's talk about, because I was sitting next to Rob, where yeah. you're Rob, somewhere behind there. Um, that they kept hitting that diagonal towards Yedlin. Yeah, yeah. Was he caught out? For, was he at fault for the first one? Yeah, goal? he was. Um, Abamia, Abamia has got some pace. Like I think he's the only world class player they've got in the whole squad. Um, but could you imagine if they didn't have Aubameyang and they sold Sanchez? They, you know, it's just it, it, and almost unthinkable to to like to think about really at the end of the day. But I think we do maybe have to look at a right back in the summer. I, I think Yellen's not done too bad. He got an assist as well. Forward, though, yeah, I just think, I think defensively he just doesn't watch the game well. As in, like he doesn't really look around him. He has to, the cells have to like kick him up the arse to kind of go look, get yourself back in position. But. That, that's probably the only grumble of today, really, is because like we've played so well, apart from the first 15-20 minutes, we also had a lot more possession and got their goal. And fair play, it was a great goal. But Perez again was brilliant. I was just about to say, let's give some praise to Perez because yeah, you know, me, you, everybody gives yeah. enough stick over the season three and three now, and he's a man on fire and in form. Well, who would have thought Perez and Diarmi be getting all the credit <laughs> against Arsenal of all the teams? You know, like Perez today got in front of the man on the front post, and it's so difficult for a keeper because you cannot see it because the defender's in the way. And you got the strike on the turn. So I think, you know, ever since the goal against uh, Huddersfield, he's just kind of got the confidence from that. He didn't play well against Huddersfield, but got the goal. Against Leicester, who's a great finish, and he set up the one for Shelby. He's literally going with confidence at the minute. Stand innovation when he come off. Oh, he, but he deserved it today. He really did deserve it. And like, I think Perez Slimani will probably work better than Perez Gale, I think, um, in the future, if, if Slimani can. You know, keep fit for last make of him because he was quite bullish. I was saying everybody's like yeah. bulldozer. And the yeah, way he's, he? not, he's not got pace, but he's got strength. He's got power, and he's he knows he, he wins free kicks. And you know, first touch a day, not the pass the defender, win a free kick. I think he was only on for five minutes before we, um, before he scored the second, and it was a great header for Rich and a great finish. This is this is what we've been crying out for. You know, we just need someone to just go right. You're going to be the main man. You're going to make sure that we're going to get goals and keep us up. You know, the sky's the limit a little bit for the rest of the season. We know it's going to be really nice to watch the last five games because we've got no pressure. We've got, Rafa said, 40 points. We've got 41. So let's just see where it takes us. So you say sky's the limit. How far can we go this season? Can we get top nine, top eight? I think Everton are catch catchable, you know. Play them next. Yeah, like, even a draw against Everton wouldn't be a bad result, you know. 
like people will be going out and win every game, but take a point away from them against Everton, who've got some good players as well. Um, but I don't know. Look, if someone offered me tenth right now at the start of the season, I would have gone, yeah, you can. Yeah, you and even now, I still go, look, tenth place, yeah, fantastic. But I, I'm really, I'm just, I'm looking forward to watching them play. Give me one word to describe today. Uh, quarters there. Um, impressive. And impressive. Impressive. I think just because of how well we played, and I don't. Yeah! <laughs> that's forty. So that's impressive. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely. I think it caught me in easier closet Arsenal, isn't he? <laughs> closet Arsenal. But uh, no, like it was impressive because I didn't think we had that extra level where we could take on the big six and go. Yeah, that's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna do. The likes of Arsenal, Man United. Um, you know, we've won. Who would have thought that when the, the deadline there, when the window was shut? So really, really happy. Really, really happy with everything that's happening there in the last four to six weeks and this is continuing for the end of the season and yeah oh, so good man so good the Arsenal I kind of literally I've, there's only one team that I've not seen Newcastle beat I mean a season taken over, for t over 10 years that's Man City probably not going to happen any time it will happen too well maybe eventually, eventually might be when I'm about 60 but uh, yeah brilliant let us know in the thoughts down there below Johnny's obviously happy in 40s taking the mic out of everyone behind the camera <laughs> cheers for watching say his bye